here we go. Oh. Okay, okay. Don't even have to go to the pet store. You're just catching them in the wild. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be stocking the backyard pond. All of you really, really love those videos. So I decided let's go get a new species today and that being mollies. Wild mollies, you may see them in the pet store. We're actually going to be catching them out in the wild. We really need some smaller fish in there for the bigger fish to eat and just a little like ecosystem. We have small fish, medium fish, big fish, all types of fish. So the goal today is to see if we can get a bunch of mollies. Let's do it. The reason I came up with this idea is, I don't know if you remember last time, but when we were cast netting, we ended up getting thousands of little mollies. And I was thinking to myself, like, if we specifically get just mollies, we can have a whole bunch of them just hanging out on the sides of the pond. I think it will look really cool. Plus, add a lot more food for the fish. So that's what we're gonna try to get today. You gotta look for their, like their little pops on top of the water. Usually they hang out all in this little canal here. It's a lot calmer. We're gonna see. We're probably gonna get a lot of like different catchers. Oh, look at them all. Bro, thousands of them all on the side right there. I don't know how well you can see. We're gonna try to get them. Dude, there were so many little mollies. And hopefully they can't fit out of this net. Oh, what the? Oh, I think we got them. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Bunch of little tilapia, oh yeah. There they are. That is exactly what we're after today. Wild mollies. Since they're all pretty much smaller fish, we'll just take all of them, but majority of them are mosquito fish and mollies, so that's what we're aiming for. All right, I'm gonna have to just dump them all out and then grab them from here. One molly, that's a good sized one. But if real quick, look at, you can definitely tell they're wild mollies. They look almost identical, just without the color. You know what I'm saying? Get another couple throws in, and then change up spots here. Hit a different lake. Oh yeah, I think we got some nice looking fish right there. What in the, bro, holy cow. Look at this molly right there. So you know how I was like, all right, most of them don't have colors or, yeah, whatever. Look how pretty that molly is. That's insane. I'm gonna get him in the bucket. Maybe that's like a male. I'm not exactly sure, but look at that nice big old fin on top there. So cool. Let's get them in the bucket. Let's see what we got. Whole bunch of mollies right here. These are baby ones. I think these may be females. I'm not sure. But oh, that's a big boy right there. That's definitely a male molly. Really, really pretty. Don't even have to go to the pet store. You're just catching them in the wild. That's everything, and it looks like a tennis ball. Okay, well, we'll keep that out. Take a couple more throws. Whew, it is hot out here. Thankfully, I got this Bingo brand hat on. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go check out my website in my description down below. Shout out to Bingo brand. Pancakes. What the? Dude. I think we got a lot of mollies in there. Wow. All right, let's go through all this and see what we got. Oh yeah. Dude, there's some big boys in here. Look at this. So cool. These guys are gonna multiply by the millions. I don't know if you know, but mollies, they just like constantly have babies, I don't know why, but it's a good fish to have in the pond if you're looking to have a lot. Right there is a thousand percent a pregnant molly. Not only do we get mollies, but we got some wild little shrimp. Looks like ghost shrimp, there they go. So that's pretty cool. Oh, another one, look at that. That's so sick, wild freshwater shrimp. You know what's weird? Is that we didn't catch any like bigger tilapia, bigger cichlids. Just mollies, like we're after mollies. It worked out, but it's just strange that we didn't get anything else, really. Oh, 
We are back at the backyard pond. We decided, let's head back. We got plenty of mollies. We don't want to take every single one living there. Otherwise, when we do do another stocking, there will be none. So just took as many as we can. Probably, I mean, if I had to say truthfully, seven and a half dozen, and that's a good amount. We're only about 30 minutes of being there. So what we're going to do is get them acclimated, give them about 25 minutes to do that, and then they're going in. While these guys are acclimating, I do have some food right here in this cup. We're gonna feed some of the fish and see what decides to come up today. You can really see good right now. So, oh, dude, they're munching. <laughs> so much life in this pond, it's so cool. Just at any time, you'll always see a fish either eating, swimming around. So cool, man. Let's see if Big Bertha comes up. Everything's munching away. Absolutely epic. Oh look, you got our cichlid. He came out. He's doing really, really good. It's been about three months since we've added this fish in here. And if you don't know, he was actually in an aquarium before. So he's really adjusted to this backyard pond. He's got his other little Midas cichlid friend with him. They school together. Oh, look at that, catfish just came up. That was a walking catfish. So sick. We need some big fish in this pond. So I'm thinking some big red tails, definitely gonna come soon. We're gonna have to set up like a grow out tank so we can grow them to about this big. And then once they're that size, we can then add them to the backyard pond. But we just need some like, we need some big things in here so we can do some epic feedings. Our koi fish is somewhere around here. I just saw him. Not sure where he went. There he is, right there. Look at him. That koi fish right there will live for about another 20 plus years. So he's definitely gonna get some size on him for being in here. Okay. He should be set to go. Oh yeah. Let's get this off real quick before we dump them all in there get a good view on how many mollies we have up in here. Oh, holy, oh, let's get these guys back in. And they're all back in, wow. Okay, but as you can see, we have a lot of mollies in there. So what we're gonna do is just dump them right into the pond and let them do their thing. Here we go, right here, here we go. Oh, dude, look at all the mollies going in the pond. <laughs> This is sick. Oh, fish are munching them. Dude, what is going on? Holy cow, they're like scattered throughout all these plants and rocks. Some went out in the middle, they just didn't know. And unfortunately, they, they got murked right away. So, yep, that's part of it. There's a bunch of little bass in here. They have to eat somehow and that's their food. So that's one reason we added them in here. Another reason is we want a bunch of mollies reproducing. So I'm sure a couple went and hid. There's actually one right there in the open right now. You better hide, you better hide. Oh, bud, come on. Oh, food! <laughs> that was so sick! Little bass just came up and nailed it. So epic, man. That's exactly what we were expecting to happen, but like I said, a good amount will end up going through the rocks. There's gonna be a few that get eaten, and that's the ecosystem in the backyard pond. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys wanna see something else stocked in the backyard pond, let us know in the comments. But with that being said, see y'all in the next one. See you!